Welcome to a day in the life of a traveling dog. This is Dixie, a seven-year-old Australian Shepherd traveling the world by sailboat. Just like us, her days are full of adventure, dinghy rides, and of course, sailing. If you're new here, we're Cole and Emily Cruz, a couple in our 30s who quit corporate America and bought a sailboat to pursue a life of adventure. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning at Magan's Bay. Magan's Bay is on the north side of the U.S. Virgin Islands of St. Thomas, and it is just so stunning. We took a little trip to the beach last night, and I'm so excited to show it to you. There's something really special about it that we're going to tell you about in just a little bit. Good morning, little puppy. Hi. Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? Are you ready to go to the beach? You want to go to the beach? Dixie is so funny. Every morning starts with puppy cuddles. She greets us at the end of the bed. You know what's so funny is that she has changed where she sleeps. She used to only sleep upstairs here on the couch because she was scared to come in or down into the hole or down the stairs when we first got the boat. But now she either sleeps at the very foot of our bed or she sleeps underneath Emily's desk and kind of curls up underneath her chair, which is so funny as well. She certainly is a creature that loves tight spaces and it's so funny. And I think one of the reasons why she's been able to adapt to boat life so well. Can you go potty? Can you go potty? Dixie, let's go potty. So if you have a pet that also needs to utilize the boat for going to the bathroom, one of the key things that we would always recommend is actually how nice our trampoline is. It is covered in vinyl, which means it is easy to clean. After she goes to the bathroom, we always come up here, spray it down with fresh water and use our little brush to make sure to clean it. There he is right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as we're showing you guys how you know, Dixie spends her life on a boat. Well, apparently we've got two doves that want to spend their life on a boat as well. Uh, we've only been here for literally 12 hours. We got here last night and I woke up this morning. I started seeing all these two doves flying onto our boat. And I noticed that they actually were bringing back twigs with them. They're literally starting to make a nest in our sail bag. Uh, obviously. We broke it. Oh, there it is above your head. <laughs> It's literally above your head right now. Oh. <laughs> he just jumped back in. So the sail bag is, is zip tight, but where they're going to is the end of the boom, uh, where there's you know a nice little hole like this. So I put the I put the GoPro at the end down there. So I'm hoping that we're gonna have some good GoPro footage of these birds. Uh, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to. Uh, keep them away because we're not going to be taking any birds with us on our next leg of this trip. Um, but in the meantime, it's kind of cool to watch. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because we are going to share some tips and tricks with you on how you can get started for setting up a cruising lifestyle with your dog. Dixie, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Wait. Come on. <laughs> Are you ready to go to the beach? Are you ready? Dixie absolutely loves going to the beach. And we woke up this morning with the roosters. Now it's time to go get some workout in. Do you want your frisbee? You ready? You want your frisbee? Go get it. Good job. Good job. You're breaking it. <laughs> so about two or maybe, I guess it's probably three years ago now, my mom actually got Dixie this Kong frisbee and it has held up really well until just the other day where she was playing some tug of war with me and it ended up ripping. But it still flies good, so it's gonna last us 
uh, through this cruising season, hopefully, because unfortunately we don't have another one. What is it? Snook. I actually haven't seen any snook in the since we left Florida, really. Uh, I don't. I didn't see them in the Bahamas, but uh, we just had a school of five of them come by, and actually, there's a small school of finger mullet in front of them, which I'm guessing that's probably what they're feeding on. Do you see them? And here we have influencers in the wild. <laughs> I wish that we had like more time and, and ability to actually put Dixie into uh, agility. She is so fast. Her agility is so good. Like she would do really well in competitions. But unfortunately that's a different life than living on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this place at Magan's Bay Beach is absolutely stunning. This beach has actually been voted one of the top 10 in the entire world. And it's no surprise because the beach here spans a half to three quarters of a mile. And the sand is like the softest sand you can imagine. It actually reminds me from our home port where we come from, Sarah so to Florida, the water here. There's actually an area right off of the beach. I've seen people swimming back and forth. Not quite a swim lane, but it's reminded me of a swim lane a couple of times because there's uh, been several people swimming back and forth. I just love it here. This is the perfect place for Dixie to run and play. Before we left to cruise full time, we got this portable dog water bottle and I am so, so glad we did. Uh, you know, when it's getting hot outside, guys, it's so important that you always bring water for your pet. It's held up really well. As you can see, you just pour it in what looks like a little leaf here. It's been great, it stays cold. So if you're interested in something like this for your dog, I'll be sure to pop a link in the description. <laughs> no! Look at it! No, don't let her get that. That will hurt her. It won't hurt her. <laughs> Dixie, look at the crab. Dixie, you've never seen a crab before. Shaky shake. No shaky shake. Here. Right here. Nobody likes sand on their boat. So to make sure we don't get sand on our boat, we always have Dixie swim a little bit to the dinghy just to kind of rinse herself off before going on the boat. And so that helps shake a lot of the sand off. And then when we get on the boat, we always spray her off at the back on the sugar scoop. And then we make her sit up front on the trampoline where she'll roll around up front. She'll shake off a few times and dry and then shake again. And usually all the sand is gone. So we've never had to worry about sand problems on our boat. Always hungry. Just like me. 
A lot of you guys often ask about what do we do about Dixie's food, where do we get her food, how do we get it, all the things. So we keep this little container under the sink because it's easy to grab and this is what we use for the day to day. But we try to keep at least two months of food on board at any given time. So we keep a waterproof container down in the bilge where we put her dry dog food in and so far it's been great. We've never had any issues. While we're having breakfast, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Miss Dixie. She is seven years old. I got her from a farm when I was working as a news reporter in Indianapolis long before I ever thought I would live on a boat. She had four sisters when I went to the farm that day and Aussies, can be known to be shy, so I was told make sure you look for one that makes eye contact with you, that doesn't seem timid. So I was gonna take them all out in the yard one by one and play with them. So I took her out first, she did a little bitty thing, took her out in the yard, sat down and was playing with her, and then I brought her back to the porch, grabbed her sister, brought her sister back out, and before I could even get seated in the yard to play with her sister, Dixie jumps off the front porch and runs toward me and that was it, she picked me. So I, I took that little fur ball home and then we moved to Florida in 2019 when I took a job as a full-time morning news anchor. And she, like me, just wanted to get on boats all the time. We found ourselves boating on the weekends with our friends, going to the beach and doing all the water things. And I gotta say, she just soaked it up and loved it as much as I did. And then when we met Cole, he had a boat and we would all go boating together. And then shortly after that, the dream of buying a sailboat and traveling the world came up. And I just gotta say, she has adapted so well. So I actually use a bungee to connect to her leash. And then we have this perfect handle right here keeps everything up and out of the way uh, and also gives Dixie plenty of space to to roam around. She's got multiple spots to lay down and to get to her water bowl, uh, which is nice. And of course, the bungee, you know, keeps it nice and tight, but also gives her a little bit of space. So come here, Dixie. Come on. We hate leaving her on the boat, but sometimes like when we're going spearfishing, it's inevitable, right? You can't take the dog spearfishing uh, and we don't want to leave her in the, in the dinghy with, in the sun. So uh, she stays right here. We've got awesome airflow right up here. So I'm going to open this up. There it is. And nice in the shade. She gets to sleep, take a nap while we're gone. We'll be back. All right. Okay. We'll be back. So we're gonna go on a quick dive and then we'll be back to the boat here shortly. We're getting ready to pull anchor and head 13 nautical miles to Francis Bay on St. John's Island. And what's so funny, here she comes right now. Cole just cranked the engines. Dixie's about to jump up and get in her spot. She always loved <laughs> to be right beside us um, at the helm. She likes to ride behind us. So you're in your spot now? Are you ready? <laughs> Never fails. Up. So this space behind our helm seat is the perfect place for Dixie. It allows her to be nice and close to us, but also gives her perfect like little space to lay down or sit. And this is just uh, a netting uh, or mesh 
so it allows for great airflow to come through here. So she really finds it uh, enjoyable to lay here and she's right next to Emily and I. And the best thing about it is it keeps her out of our way when we're maneuvering the boat or docking the boat or whatever the case may be. Anybody home? Nobody's home. So we saw the birds earlier, but I guess they flew away and they decided they did not want to make our sail bag their home, which is very good. I would have been very sad if they would have decided to lay eggs in our sail bag because we can't bring them with us. <laughs> as soon as the sail comes up, they would fall out and that would be very sad. We have about an hour and a half till our next destination. So I figure this is as good of a time as ever to answer some questions about Dixie's life. So we made a poll on Instagram asking you guys what you wanna know. So I'm gonna answer some of those questions now. How has Dixie responded to sea animals? Well, basically what you saw earlier with the crab, she just barks at them. So she now knows what dolphins are. She'll run up to the front of the boat when they're playing beside our boat and she'll look down in the water and start barking. There was an incident whenever we were traveling up to Martha's Vineyard in the fall when that happened. And it was just so cool to watch how she recognizes them. So never anything uh, mean. I think it's just always from a uh, source of playfulness. How does she do with bad weather? She actually does pretty good. I think a lot of dogs get scared from thunder and Dixie is no different. I think it is even heightened on a boat being on the water. I can imagine that she can feel those vibrations even stronger being on water, but she'll try to jump up in the bed with us. She just wants to be close to us wherever we are. And other than that, I mean, I, I think she's okay. I mean, she gets a little nervous, but nothing that's, you know, weird or out of the ordinary. How do we keep Dixie cool on the boat when we leave? So we keep her leashed up on the back of the boat. We don't want to keep her inside of the boat because we're always worried a risk of fire. We've heard a couple different situations where a boat caught on fire and dogs were inside and they got lost. So our thought process was if any kind of freak accident like that happened, she would be outside. But additionally, we could leave the AC running on the inside, but if, what if something were to happen? What if we were to, I don't know, suck up a jellyfish or a piece of seaweed or something and it stops running while we're gone? Then she would be trapped inside a hot boat. So for us, it just makes the most sense to leave her outside. We have a hatch out here in the back that we can open up and that provides a breeze. And then she also has shading back here. So we believe that's the best option for her, but we do try to take her with us as many times as possible because that's where she's the happiest and that's where we're the happiest. What are you doing? Have a kiss? Oh. <laughs> Two more questions. This one says, will you attempt the BBIs and some of the other less than friendly dog islands? Yes, but not until next season. So we're in a pretty big hurry this season to get down to Grenada. We talked about this in uh, one of our last episodes that we've got a major issue with the boat. We have to have both transmissions rebuilt on both engines. So it's something that is progressively getting worse on the boat. So right now we're just trying to get to Grenada as fast as possible. We'll do a haul out and get the repairs on the boat. And also we got to get there because of hurricane. It starts June 1. So. Um, yes, we will attempt the BBIs, but not until next season. Last question, how do you deal with dog hair? Such a great question as Dixie is a high shedding dog. I like to say that's the only bad thing about her. So we have a Dyson vacuum that we use. Actually, the owner of the boat before us gifted that to us and said, you are going to love this. And he was right, it's something we use daily just to keep the dog hair at bay. And it's really good practice even if you don't have a dog on board because a boat gets dirty way faster than a house or maybe you just notice it more because you're in a, a much smaller space, I'm not sure. But to answer that question, we just vacuum a lot and, and deal with the dog hair. Thankfully, we really don't have to worry about sand though because we always uh, spray Dixie off so that's never a problem on the inside. If you are interested in that vacuum, I'll pop that link in the description for you as well because it's been amazing to have on board. If Dixie's not sitting with us at the helm, she loves to be cozied up in the corner here. This is just kind of her spot and she always, if there is a pillow there, she will find that pillow and sleep on it. I think it's hilarious. My girl knows comfort. Does anybody else's dog seek out pillows and lay on them like a human? I think it's the funniest thing ever. It is super windy and unfortunately, we're 
feeding directly into it. Um, what's really interesting, Emily was just answering some of the questions that we got from Instagram. One of those questions being, are we planning on going to the BVIs with Dixie? And what's so funny is I didn't realize before getting down here how close the USVIs are to that of the BVIs. That over there is the USVIs or St. John. That is Tortola. That is the BVIs. So we just picked up a mooring ball and figured we've got a few minutes before sunset here to go for a quick little beach exploration. Dixie is certainly excited. The minute we said beach, she is all about it, of course. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. Dixie, wait. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go. Go. Dixie, go. Dixie, go. You know, we've gotten some negative comments about Dixie being on the boat and how it's animal cruelty. But the reality is, is that she actually gets more exercise on any given week running up and down these beaches than most dogs get in their entire lifetime. Especially for these keyboard warriors that sit at their computer, just open up the back door for the dog to run out and go to the bathroom in the backyard and come back inside. She's so much happier being with us all the time than when we were working normal jobs, nine to five, or in Emily's case, 3 a.m. to noon. Go! Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Go! Good girl! All right, hey, wait, set. What a little Good problem girl. solver. It's just amazing, these islands out in the Caribbean, they just come up out of nowhere. It's like 75 feet deep directly off the island. And you just have all these rocks everywhere. Obviously we've never been down here before, so this is completely new territory to us. And let me tell you, it's a little bit daunting when uh, trying to anchor in some of these places as well as you know picking up mooring balls in which that you don't know if they've been serviced or not, so be interesting as we continue to travel the Caribbean islands and see all there is to see. So I'm actually whipping up some food for Dixie. Uh, we are using some bonita that we caught. We are using uh, some rice and sweet potatoes. And I just boiled it all. Now I'm just mashing it all up. And what we'll do is we will put uh, about a week's worth in the refrigerator, and then if there's still some left over, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. Um, just depending on how much I was able to make. And I think she's gonna love this. You know, something funny about Dixie is she actually will not eat raw fish. A lot of dogs will. She is like her mother, she is a picky eater, and she just won't eat it. So I'm excited to see if she likes this batch. We try our best to make her dinner as much as possible, but with limited freezer and refrigeration space, it can be hard to do that because you make it and you need a place to store it, obviously. Um, a lot of times our refrigerator is packed full. So we still do feed her the typical dog food, but we try our best to feed her some good homemade meals as much as possible. Go eat. Dixie, do you like that? Oh, yeah.
Dixie's upstairs doing her final nighttime potty and we don't usually let her in the bed, but today's a special day and when we do let her in the bed, we grab a towel and we put it across the bed and she's so funny. She could be laying out under her chair in the hallway, but as soon as she hears that towel unfold, she will get up and wait at the end of the bed. And once we get her in the bed, we're gonna share with you um, how you can get our tips and tricks for starting a cruising lifestyle with your dog. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I told you. She is so ready to pounce. Do you want to cuddle? No. <laughs> I don't know why this cracks me up every time. You're a funny girl. Yeah. Pixie, do you have a good life? Do you have the best life? Okay, so you guys have asked us so many questions about living on a boat with a dog. So we've compiled a free guide to get you started. Five tips you need to know for setting up a cruising lifestyle with your dog. So all you have to do is scan this QR code. It'll take you to the page where you can put your email in and download that. And for now, we're gonna say good night. Dixie, you goodbye. Good night, we'll see you next week. It's time to watch YouTube. Our favorite thing to do at night. <laughs> you wanna cuddle? Do you wanna cuddle? <laughs> Stay on your towel. On your towel. Good girl. Nope, scoot that butt over. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> on the towel. <laughs> it's like, are you hoping we don't notice you? If I just lay here real quiet and still, it won't say anything to me. Don't let me sleep here all night. <laughs> Will you let me sleep here all night, Dad? Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Did you have a good day today? Does anyone else talk to their dog like they're a human? Like, like they're gonna talk we, back? We talk to her so much. And quite frankly, I feel like we have conversations with her. <laughs> like, now you're really telling people how weird we are? Yeah, like... <laughs> I do. I, I straight up have conversations with her. She knows when I say go downstairs, go upstairs. She knows when I say you want to go to the beach. She knows when I say you want to chase cats. Like, well, we didn't even talk about chasing cats, did we? <laughs> this girl loves to chase cats. Don't ya? You love to chase cats. Ah! <laughs> ah!